magazine's Miss April 2011, and she was just named the 2012 Playmate of the Year, gracing the cover of the magazine's newest issue. Jacqueline Swedberg joins us this morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So how did this all come about? <clears throat> you know, I went to a casting call at the mansion about two years ago in June, and I kind of just decided, you know, why not try? Why not do something? I'd never modeled. I'd never done anything before. You had never modeled before? No, I'd never done anything. That what? was my first experience. Well, did you tell your parents you were going to do this? Or my did you mom actually um, suggested it. We kind of were talking about things I could do maybe. So needless to say, my parents are... Your dad behind too. Me. Do you have Absolutely. brothers? Absolutely, I do. I have a brother who's 17. And oh my gosh, what do you think? He's become really popular lately. <laughs> when the issue first came out, you know, it was a little weird for him, and he got teased and taunted and that whole thing. And now I think that he's learning. After he got to go to the mansion, he's learning kind of he can use this, and he's like the coolest kid out of all of his friends. Oh, so. he's got it now. Yeah. He knows how to work it. So, mm -hmm. I mean, but Playboy, I mean, there's the cover. You know, I mean, there, I mean, you're even, you're, I mean, you, you know, I mean, we can put that cover on the morning news. I mean, this isn't yeah, as, as no. scandalous as it used to be, wouldn't you no. say? No, it's. I we took the more girl next door appeal and kind of went something a little bit fun and flirty and cute, and I, I love it. I think it represents me really well. So why do you think they, they chose you? I mean, what was it about your, was it your <clears> pictures or what was it? You know, I, I mean, all the girls are so beautiful. Obviously, there's 12 gorgeous girls. I feel as though you have to kind of treat it as as a business you know if you're working you need to treat it as something that you're going to present right every it's a day. job it's a job exactly. it's a career it's a job it's you know the parties are fun and, and the work is fun but I feel like if you you need to present yourself in that way and and I, I really tried hard to to make sure that I did so you showed up at appearances you were on yes. time good yes. work ethic yes. and then boom you're on the cover <laughs> oh, look your hard work pays <laughs> off right I think it does I think it proves that you know if you will something enough to happen and you really decide that you know I want this it can happen. I want a billion dollars. Do you think that will <laughs> keep happen? Keep thinking it. Keep thinking it. <laughs> That's Charlie. Eventually. She sings, she sings that song, I want to be a billionaire, like <laughs> all day. It makes you go cross-eyed. <laughs> so what is your, tell me more about yourself. Like what is your favorite thing to do? I thought, because I was doing some research on you yeah. before, I thought you, you may be into martial arts, but you, that's a, a TV gig that you have. Yes, this is a okay. TV network that I do. I've, I've really never done anything in that. Um, I would not be surprised because you, you're good at everything else. <laughs> no, I, we're going to give it a shot that I'm going to see. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm more quiet. I'm more quiet for what? sure. I like to read. I like to bake. I like to cook. I, I um, just kind of do kind of quieter things. I feel like my work life is so, you know, fun and crazy and this and that, that when I have time to myself, I like it to be a little bit more subdued. Would you, yeah, we, I, I, can agree, I can understand that. Would you consider yourself shy or introvert, extrovert? I was very shy growing up. Um, I think that once I kind of went for the April issue the first time, you can't be shy anymore. You, <laughs> you know, you go. have to kind of put put on a, a personality of being more outgoing and and that. But when I'm kind of in my own element, I'm just a little bit more quiet. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then, um, what kind of guy is your guy? I mean, who do you look to? Usually, a little bit more outgoing than myself. You know, I I kind of I like to be around that energy, but it's because it's not me. Yeah, yeah, you kind of nice have an opposite. Let him be the center of attention. Exactly. You yeah. kind of stand back yeah. and just watch it, uh -huh. watch the magic happen. Exactly. <laughs> What's your pipe dream? What it, I mean, you've accomplished so much already. I mean, yeah. you're just you just got started, and you're already the playmate of the year. Exactly. You've already got the work ethic down. What's your pipe dream? What is it that you want to do? You know, I um I am actually going to score right now for communications. Oh, where? Um, to Woodbury University. It's in Burbank. Okay. In California, and um, I just. I, I don't know exactly where I want to take it yet. I feel like this was my big thing. It was like, you know, Playmate of the Year was the focus for such a long time. And now that it happened, it's kind of like, okay, maybe I can sit it out for a few months and just enjoy the experience yeah. and then plan where I'd like to go next. So do you think you want to stay in communication? I think so, yes. Do you think this will affect what you do in the future in a positive way, no. negative way, or anything in between? When I initially made this decision, I was going to be minoring in political science. Okay. And so I kind of decided that if I was going to become a playmate, I was going to do this, you know, that's probably not the route to go anymore. And so I instead minored in broadcast journalism. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm kind of just deciding that it'll open, I feel like, so many more doors and it will close. And those that close, that's not my path and that's not for me. But do you think it even closes doors anymore? I mean, do you, you know, think that you could not go into broadcasting or in some way, shape, Perform just because you were the. I mean, I don't even get the. Yeah. I, do, what do you think about that? I mean, do you think that would close any doors? You know, it, it's hard to say which ones it would close, but it, 
you know, I, I don't feel like it does. I did it, and I, you know, I believe that it was the best experience I've ever had, and it's made me such a different person in a good way that I, I don't think it's negative in any way. Were you nervous? I mean, were you nervous when you, I mean, you know, you're taking off your clothes, right? You have at least, I mean, there's 30 seconds of awkwardness every single time you step back out on set, you know? Cause <laughs> yeah. Every time you step out, you're just kind of like, okay, you know? Well, where do you go in your go. head? I mean, look at you. I mean, that is like amazing. It's so very sensual, you know? And if you're at home, yeah. you know, on the weekends, like you're in the back of the room and letting your boyfriend be like the center yeah. of attention, that's not the same person. What, how do you get you know, to that person? You kind of, you have to turn something on a little bit. You know, it's a switch. That's, it's kind of a fun part to play almost. Yeah, almost like theater. Exactly. Like it's like a, like getting yes. into character. Exactly. So do you have like a name for that character? Or? I haven't come up with a name for her yet, but she is quite adventurous. I've decided of that. <laughs> she likes she, Harley. She hey, does. Do you, um, what do you do for Harley? I did the Harley Davidson Key Club this year, okay. and um, I, I just did another campaign with them. And I actually, Harley gave us the course to learn how to ride. Ooh. We got our license. And a Harley, so I have a bike and my license. You really? I That's do. great. This is a huge yeah. Harley town. Half this town just went. Oh yes, 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 yes I yes. do. And I got a perfect score on my DMV test. Congratulations! Thank of course you. you did. Of course. No, you no, did. no, no. I was terrible the three-day course. I was nervous <laughs> wreck, but I got a perfect score. Well, uh, thank you for joining us. Playmate thank of the you. Year issue is on newsstands now. It's fantastic. And come down and join us anytime. This Wonderful. is the perfect day for you to be here yeah. because not only are we doing broadcast journalism here, but there happens yes. to be a debate in the nine o'clock. I heard. Yeah, yes. the mayors, the mayoral candidates are going to be yes, debating, so maybe you can stick it's around and observe. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. What do you think? Good timing for her, don't you think? Guys? Great time. So you want my job? Yes. <laughs> and the most impressive thing is that she got a perfect score in the DMV test. Nobody gets a perfect score in the DMV test. Nobody can get that. That's Every awesome. one of us misses a few of those questions. That's awesome. All right. Thank you. All right. Time now is 7:57.